Hello, my name is Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about using CSS to style the widgets in Bala. So basically, you just create a new file like uh, custom.css, like right there. I created that one, and let's style the button. So GTK button, and then there you go. You're already styling the button. Pretty sweet, huh? Pretty easy. So then uh, let's make it green. Why not? And then the background, let's make it red. Sweet, so there you go. That's the default state for default colors for uh, for a button. Yeah, pretty simple. So what about if we want to style it when the mouse is over a button? Well, we can do that too with uh, hover. There you go. Pretty straightforward, just like CSS. And then let's do the color and let's do green let's just invert the colors that we had on top so background and then oh no wait this one has to be red and then this one has to be green there you go sweet now how do we add it to our main program so basically this is what you gotta do you gotta create a, a CSS provider object so provider there you go Gonna be gtk that css no my bad it's going to be gtk that css provider there you go there you go right sweet now next off is we gotta oops we gotta set the provider tell the tell the program that hey you're gonna use this so we'd set up a if statement, I mean a try and catch to see if, if it fails or not. Alright, for some reason I'm typing horribly wrong today. Alright, so CSS provider dot load from path. Load from path. And then the file that we want to load the custom settings from. So yeah, pretty easy. Now if it doesn't load, we just send out like a warning or something. So warning dot uh, style she did not load and then the error message so s and then um, uh, e that message that way we know what the heck is going on all right after that we set the style sheet to be used so this one loads it but now we're gonna set it to actually put it onto the program so style context the add provider provider for screen and first what it takes is the screen so gtk the screen the get default hopefully I spelled it wrong so this gets the screen you're using and then we're gonna use the CSS provider and then the pro type of priority that we want so style uh, provider all of this has to be capitalized priority hopefully I'm spelling it right application so all of it and this has to be lowercase there you go sweet so yeah that's how you do it now uh, let's see if it works Hopefully I didn't do anything wrong. Sweet. So main. Look at that. Styled. Look at that. And when we hover over it, it inverts. Sweet. Look at that. See, simple as that. So what happens if you want a specific button to do to have a different color scheme? Well, that's pretty much easy. So for example, let's just go to a button. So uh, where where are we creating the buttons? so right here alright cool so for example let's say we want the equal button to be I don't know all blue so if we do that all we have to do is uh, basically do if s equals the equal sign then we just do button dot get style context and then add class and let's just call it equal equal there you go Sweet, so now we added a class to the button, and then guess how we can control it from CSS, just like you would for any 
class so let's see gtk button dot equal uh where's the queue at oh my god can't even find the queue all right sweet and let's just make it all blue that way we can s completely tell that i am not a liar blue all right now if we go to the shell and we add it run it compile it and then we run it bam what i tell you blue dang look at that that is amazingly simple to do so yeah you can mess around with this and play with it um, I usually don't add a style sheet because I already like how the widgets look like but there's a bunch of programs in Bala that you know make good use of the style sheet and look pretty freaking awesome so yeah if you want you can check the, their style sheets out and see how everything's done alright that's it